Hi. This is David Burns from Talking Heads. You're watching Sound. That's a little later, but first, let's say hello to David Byrne, leader of Talking Heads. Hi. Welcome to Australia again. Hi. It was 79 last time you were here as a four-piece. Good time that time? Yeah. Yeah. Now, the four-piece changed shortly after that, didn't it? You, you tend to go and add members and take away members. And... So how many members are in Talking Heads this time live? Eight or nine. I think it's nine. Uh-huh. Now, the name Talking Heads, how did that come about? A friend of ours, uh, uh, he's a painter. He saw it in TV Guide magazine. It was the name of some uh, grade Z science fiction movie, I think. Oh, really? I think it was called The Talking Head. Uh-huh. Probably a head in a box or something. So he picked <laughs> up on that. Now, you obviously love dancing, because you, in, the, in the thing there's all this... And apparently, when you're trying out new movements, you do it in front of a mirror and perfect it and then add it. Is that all happening on stage when you're live as well? Yeah, a fair amount. Yeah. And you, you got yourself involved with, um, what was it, a ballet soundtrack? Yeah. Like the Catherine work. Can you tell us about that? I had seen the, the, the dance company about a week before, and right after I saw them, they asked me if I would write music for something they were doing. It was a good time for them to ask, so right. I went ahead and did it. So, David, you worked with Brian Eno did stuff with him and of course Tina Weymouth and Chris husband and wife have gone out and done things with the Tom Tom Club. Do you think that outside work actually helps to keep talking heads together? That yeah in a funny way freedom? it does. Mm -hmm. it, it makes us realize what's what's different about talking heads Right. and the fact that we can go away and do something means that when we get together we're not we haven't gotten bored with one another. Uh -huh. Do you think you'll do any more with Brian Eno? Can you see anything coming up in the future? possible. We haven't talked about it in a while. He hasn't been doing much. He's been doing video installations. Right. So he hasn't been doing much in the way of music anyway. He's right into the techo side now. Yeah. So when did Talking Heads actually meet, get together? I met Chris when I was at art school. Yeah. Uh, and then I came back for a visit. I dropped out and came back for a visit a couple of years later. Right. And uh, he and Tina were an item, as they say, mm -hmm. and that's how I met her. And so we sort of went our separate ways and got back together again in New York and started the band there. When would that have been? 75 or 76, something like that. No plans to go back and record? No, I think we should do something different. Like? Uh, well, I'm not sure yet. I'm still thinking about it. You're working on it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for talking to us on Sounds, and, and thank you and welcome back to Australia. Thank you for being on Sounds one more time. I'd like to go now to a thing called This Must Be The Place off the latest album.